from the Simpson-Mazzoli Act that provided this direction. And he has the uh, section of law there. The bottom line is, is that he was not acting against the will of the people. They were essentially implementing the law that was there. Well, precisely. I mean, Pelosi came out before Obama's speech and said, basically, along with other establishment Democrats, look, Obama's only doing what Reagan did in 86, but Reagan didn't sign an executive order. It was it was an act passed by Congress. It was even if you disagreed with it, it was constitutional. What Obama's doing, as Senator Sessions said, is becoming America's first emperor and going back on his own words from as recently as last year. In fact, Sessions quotes Obama in his article today, quote, I know some people want me to bypass Congress. This is Obama, remember, last year yeah. and change the laws on my own. That's not how our democracy functions. That's not how our constitution is written. The problem is that I'm the president of the United States. I'm not the emperor of the United States. My job is to execute laws that are passed. So that was Obama last year responding to pressure from immigration activists and the foundations, lobby groups that support them to pass executive action on immigration. He basically said, I can't do that because it would violate the constitution and make me an emperor. Yes. Now he's done exactly that. So yes. in his own words and with his own actions yesterday and today, Obama is admitting that he is now officially Caesar. He's the emperor. And this is just the beginning, as we talked about yesterday. We've got more coming down the pipeline. We've got global warming executive orders, which could completely eviscerate the U.S. economy. Talking about ridiculous reductions in carbon tax, first to 2005 levels, Eventually, they want an 80% reduction in carbon tax and then a 100% reduction in carbon tax. So I guess, you know, <laughs> human beings aren't going to be able to exhale for very much longer <laughs> if, they, if they get their full agenda through. But this is only the beginning. If this precedent is set, as Buchanan said, it's going to grease the skids for, for something that could reverberate for the next several administrations and get worse and worse. It fundamentally changes the structure of government. It essentially does make him a dictator. If he says, I gave this agenda to Congress, they didn't act on it, so I'm just going to ignore them and go over their heads. As you were pointing out, he's mentioned this several times. Rand Paul pointed that out in his speech yesterday. He said the president has said 22 times previously that he does not have the power to legislate on immigration. You know, when you speak this with an executive order, when you dictate it, in other words, a dictator is somebody, the law comes out of their mouth. That's why they call them dictators. That's why he's a dictator. The only thing I disagree with here, he says, I believe immigration reform is needed. We must first secure the border. I don't think that it's going to be possible to, in, to secure the border as long as you incentivize illegal immigration in the way that Obama has with DACA, with uh, this newest order, whatever they decide to call it. But there's been many, many cases already where he should have been impeached for criminal action. He and Eric Holder. And it, it, to allow them to have a pass for this long and to do nothing about it, we know that the Republicans don't want to do anything about it because A, their corporate sponsors want this to happen, and B, they want the power when they become president. So they're going to set by and allow this to become even more concentrated into the hands of one man and let the entire uh, elected Congress become this useless vestige of uh, power that's just sitting there. And the fact is, if you go and look at Dennis Kucinich's articles of impeachment against George W. Bush from back in, I think it was 2007, 2008, Obama, and this was a couple of years ago now, Obama has already fulfilled 27 out of the 35 articles of impeachment that were leveled against Bush. And he's probably added a few more to that tally since that was since that was emphasized a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Now you can add this to it. But as he said, it's it's very, very unlikely to happen because the Republican establishment is in league with the Democratic leadership. They're completely disinterested in standing up to this Obama Caesar precedent ruled by diktat, just as the uh, Democrat leadership failed to punish Bush for his unconstitutional activities in regards to illegal war and torture back in 2006 after yes. the 2006 midterms. So they, they refused to roll back the damage that Obama has done because, they, as he said, their only concern is remaining in power. They don't care about fixing the country. 
Absolutely. We've got to go to break. Paul will be right back. Party monopoly in America. Hang on right there. We'll be right back with Paul Joseph Watson from the this UK. This holiday Stay with season, us. give the gift that keeps on giving an in home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain, difficult times, what better way to show your love for your family than to buy them a gift that helps them preserve food they can use now or in 25 years? Go to harvestright.com and find out how you can get your in home freeze dryer. Layaway is available. That's HarvestRight.com. You know about RVs. You've heard about bunkers. But surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps. The ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to SurvivalistCamps.com to learn more. That's SurvivalistCamps.com. Providing your basic needs to survive. SurvivalistCamps.com. If you have candida overgrowth, just taking antifungal agents or starving yourself of sweets does not address the cause. Candida overgrowth is the result of a toxic, damaged, acidic, low oxygen, and inflamed tissue environment. The goal should be to remove the toxins, heal damaged tissues, restore healthy pH, eliminate inflammation, and feed beneficial bacteria. Previous usage of antibiotics or steroids or exposure to mercury or other toxins can damage many cells in the GI tract and body that make you prone to candida overgrowth. Removing toxins and healing tissues should be the goal. One World Whey is a whey protein food that supports detoxification, repair of tissues, and elimination of inflammation, healthy pH, and growth of beneficial bacteria. One World Whey is duly reformulated to be higher in protein and lower in carbohydrate. We believe One World Whey is an excellent food to support your efforts to create a healthy internal body environment. Call 888-988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. The experts are clear. Sunlight, purified water, healthy non-GMO food, and having a good attitude is essential to a healthy immune system. But I go further with Super Nascent Iodine X2 from InfoWarsLife.com. 50% stronger than our original and revolutionary nascent iodine formula, coming from a deep earth crystal source that no other supplier has. Most other forms of iodine come from seaweed in areas plagued by Fukushima and other contaminants. Not our iodine. It comes from over 200 million year old crystal salt deposits and is tested and proven to be completely pure. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today. See the informational videos. Read the information they're compiled. And for a limited time, when you use promo code NOW at checkout, you get an additional 5% off the entire family of InfoWarsLife.com products. Secure your Survival Shield X2 today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. Do you have relatives and friends that are convinced there is no need ever to prepare for any kind of emergency? Are these also folks you buy Christmas presents for? At 30dayfoodsupply.com, we can solve both of these problems at the same time. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. We can ship your Christmas presents directly to them. Choose from our original $99 30-day food supply, our long-term storage vegan burger mixes, and other oatmeal, soups, porridges, beans, and granolas for everyday use. All products are non-GMO, MSG-free, and vegetarian. Most are gluten, soy, and nut-free. Call 541-229-0010 today. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low, cutting out the middleman by buying directly from their producers in Oregon. Remember, only $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit the website 30dayfoodsupply.com. Call 541-229-0010. 30dayfoodsupply.com. 541-229-0010. Back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight on this Friday, November 21st, 2014, the day after Obama has just told 5 million people what they say that they can stay. Of course, we don't really know how many people that is. Uh, they're not really keeping information on people as they come across our open borders. What he's done is he's created an entitlement program and he's created, he's incentivized uh, one more time and one more way 
illegal immigration. Now, Paul, we just had yesterday, as this was being done, we see just the opposite happening in Mexico. They announced that they're going to start charging Americans crossing the border uh, $28 if they're going to come in and uh, in a new pilot program. We, however, extend free health care, free education, a get out of jail card for free. I mean, it's, we do just the opposite. Has there ever been a country that has done this? Every other country requires, if you immigrate to that country, that you not only have to already have a means of support, already have an income, savings, that sort of thing, to show that you can support yourself and your family. I mean, that's Mexico, it's Belize, it's any country that you want to immigrate to, isn't it? Well, precisely, unless they're following the European socialist model, which they are. Mm -hmm. And that's the key point. You have to understand the thinking that drives Obama and the people behind him. And again, it's it would take hours to explain, but it's best summed up in Dinesh D'Souza's America, imagine a world without her. Basically, it sounds like a cliche, but it boils down to the fact that they hate America. They think it should be completely transformed, yes. as you were making the point yesterday. Because Obama's mentors are people like Reverend Wright, Bill Ayers, the domestic weather underground terrorist, Mm -hmm. who, by the way, they invented the term white privilege. So yeah. they were the original race baiters, and they were a big influence on Obama. So it's based on this liberation theology, this idea that um, the land that is now America was stolen from Mexico during the war, mm -hmm. which, of course, during that time, all across the world, all territorial wars were fought over. They, were, they had battles over them. They were not stolen. They were won or lost in wars. That's not a positive or a negative thing. That's a neutral. That's just the way that the world worked at that time. But this, this racist extremist ideology that the land was stolen from Mexicans has been inoculated in that culture, which the big foundations, the lobby groups have seized upon. Well, actually, this is the actually, whole ideology Paul, yeah, that actually, drives Obama, that drives the people behind him, which is why Nancy Pelosi called it, uh, likened it to the Emancipation Proclamation, right? Yeah. Because they think that the Mexicans in America, the illegals, are basically refugees, are slaves, because they should be in Mexico because the land was stolen. I think uh, there's Ramos a lesson. From I, think, Univision I think there's a lesson, was, Paul. Um, Obama paying back a debt. Go ahead. Yeah, I think there's a lesson uh, from the uh, uh, Mexican Revolution for Obama. It wasn't just Texas uh, that revolted against a dictatorial tyrant. It was multiple provinces, uh, three of them, Texas was just one of them, established governments. He was able to put down the revolution everywhere except in Texas, and it wasn't just Americans, uh, people coming in from English-speaking people coming in from America. It was people who were Mexican, who were Hispanic, Latino, who were living in the area as well that revolted against that tyranny. Uh, that should be the lesson for them, <laughs> not that it's some kind of uh, uh, Latins versus uh, English people. I think it's interesting, too, to look at uh, this situation that we had a report on yesterday. RT reported this. American-born London mayor, maybe you can talk about this, uh, Boris Johnson, refuses to pay taxes to the U.S. He left when he was five years old, and now the IRS is coming after this guy who's been uh, mayor of London since 2008. I think maybe some of the people who are coming to this country might want to second think, uh, second guess whether they want to be uh, U.S. citizens or not. There's a lot of baggage attached to that. Well, I mean, the, the creators and the business owners are leaving America in droves, yes. the middle class. Yes. There's a flight away from America because they're the very people being punished under this transformative system that Obama is bringing in. And in fact, some of these illegals that are now going to be, you know, semi-legal, they're going to get EITC payments because they're going to be enrolled in the tax system. They're not going to pay a lot of tax, but they're going to get a lot of benefits out of this EITC system. And that's being paid for by American taxpayers. So your dollars are going directly to these illegal immigrants as a result of this Obama program. Well, the biggest area of taxation for most people, whether they realize it or not, are the local taxes that pay for the schools. And of course, Everyone, K through 12, is going to be getting a free ride if they're living in this area. They're also going to get free medical care, whether or not it's part of Obama, because that's part of the law. If you go to a uh, emergency room, they have to treat you. So that's going to be something that is on our nickel. As I said before, it's really uh, su casa, mi casa. Your house becomes my house, whether you like it or not. But I think it's kind of in reverse with what's going on with the London mayor. He's not even here, but they're coming after him for taxes. They're essentially getting a free ride. We'll be right back with Paul Joseph March, the Empire's on the run.
Alex Jones.